The most exciting new compound that's really being discovered in the way of like building muscle and losing fat can be illustrated through a poultry study. That's right, talking about building chicken breasts on actual chickens. And I know that that sounds funny and it's all fun and games until you're like, okay, show me the human data. Let me also tell you that this particular new compound, it's not really new, but it's new in terms of like what's unfolding in the research, has some of the strongest, if not the strong, probably not the strongest, but some of the strongest human data that is out there for a muscle building fat loss type compound. Now I'm gonna tell you what the compound is. I don't like to dangle things around. Like it's TMG, also known as trimethylglycine, also known as betaine. But hear me out on what this has done recently, relatively newer stuff on muscle building and fat loss at the same time. It's really wild mechanisms, really wild literature. After today's video, I put a link down below for Nomadic. So if you go anywhere, let alone travel or go to work or take a bus or a train or a plane, then these things are a complete game changer. And I mean that. This is something that, first of all, pretty well insulated, but they're expandable Navigator Series backpacks. So if you look at them, these things are huge. Like I can carry so much stuff. My recent trip to Switzerland, when I was looking at different foods and creating content out there, I was able to pack all kinds of food in this backpack. I was able to pack all my toiletries. I was able to pack my electronics. I could literally travel through Europe with this pack and it doesn't even feel like a giant backpack. Not to mention it can accommodate my laptop. It can accommodate a bunch of other things. It's just a game changer. But of course, Nomadic has a bunch of other things too. They have their method luggage, which I'm a big fan of, extremely light and a huge storage capacity. It has some of the biggest storage capacity of any luggage on the market because they've really looked at how they could use even the wheel wells to ultimately create more space while still using a thin material that is structurally sound to make it extra, extra light. So that link down below is for a special discount on Nomadic. Now, again, I recommend their backpacks, their Navigator series in all kinds of different sizes. So that link is in the top line of the description underneath this video, not just for traveling, they're for going to work, and just for regular life. Okay, so the chicken relationship here, there's a study published in Poultry Science. They gave chickens either zero TMG, 250 milligrams per kilogram, 500 milligrams per kilogram, or 1,000 milligrams per kilogram of TMG. What they wanted to see here was what would happen to these chickens in terms of their actual like white meat growth if they had TMG added in. Well, guess what? The more TMG, the more white meat breast growth they would get, right? Without fat accumulation. Like if you are a chicken farmer, that's quite literally what you would be after. Like people want the breast meat, guys want to build their pecs, right? So it kind of makes sense that I'd insert with this study, but it's still pretty fascinating. But what we learned from this is a couple of potential mechanisms, and then I'll talk about the human data. They found that in these chickens, it increased mTOR significantly. mTOR is the major driver of muscle protein synthesis. Like mTOR increases growth signaling. So it increased mTOR in this particular case so that they would build more muscle. Then there was an increase in what's called myOD, which is a transcription factor, which helps with the differentiation of cells that are associated with muscle tissue. So it helps differentiate cells so that they can grow and respond and go through muscle protein synthesis. So it's actually helping at a genetic level to build more muscle. Then lastly, there's an increase in MEF2B, which is a specific transcription factor that helps with what are called muscle growth factors. So we have peptides, we have growth factors, we have insulin-like growth factors like IGF. Those are growth factors that induce growth. Now, these can also make a big improvement in fat loss too. So were these chickens leaner? Well, proportionally, yes, because they had more muscle mass on them, so more white breast meat. Now, how does that relate to humans? Well, with this, we look at a systematic review and meta-analysis, relatively new, looking at six major studies that was designed to take a look at all the old animal model studies to see if human data would add up to with TMG. And guess what? It did. Out of these six different studies, they found that TMG supplementation, even modest amounts, ended up dramatically decreasing total fat mass, decreased body fat percentage by around like a total of 2.45%, all while keeping muscle mass or even increasing lean body mass, meaning that there was a specific targeting of fat in the fat loss while muscle was still being able to be built. So let's just say we took away the muscle building attribute altogether and it just kept lean body mass the same. 
That is not seen a whole lot. Usually if you have a decrease in fat, you're going to have a subsequent increase, at least in a little bit of lean body mass, not a, light, a slight growth, like huge change there. And that's major human data. I'm gonna read you a quote from the journal ISSN, which there's a pretty interesting study published there that talked about how the methyl donor aspect essentially of TMG could contribute to muscle growth. So just hear me out on this. I'm gonna spare you the details of the study and get right to the brass tacks of it. They said, and I quote, we hypothesized that by increasing transmethylation capacity, TMG supplementation reduces plasma homocysteine and may thus reduce HCTL generation, resulting in improved insulin signaling plus myofibril protein synthesis, ultimately enhancing muscle and strength gains. So it's improving insulin signaling. So therefore, more fat loss can occur, but more muscle can actually be stimulated to grow. And this happens because of the changes that occur when TMG donates a methyl group to homocysteine, ultimately turning it into methionine, which we don't need to go into the nuancy biochemical details here. Point is, this compound has characteristics like you would see in major peptides or even things that aren't even illegal. And it's fascinating that it isn't making more of a big boom in the industry, when in reality, like, if you combine betaine or TMG with creatine or with NMN or with taurine, like there are monumental marked changes that can happen in the way of fat loss and muscle building. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.